Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com and this is another clip-lip video where I look at various art books and magazines and I'm continuing my look at the 2011 Imagine FX magazines and this one is issue number 76 for the month of December 2011 so we're getting right near to the end of these now and this one's got a little, oh, like a spaceship and stuff on this front <laughs> I hope you like the cover but let's get into this one and see what, what we think of it Grumpy Guts is with us. I picked Grumpy Guts because it's a vehicle special and well vehicles is not my favourite thing but this is issue number 76 of the Imagine FX magazine for December 2011 so the penultimate issue for 2011 it says I don't think I'm obsessive but I do indeed fret over every line in car design. Da -da -da. Well the, the cover is very impactful but again, it doesn't it doesn't really get me excited because I likes me I likes me characters. But we're also going to have a look at the DVD in a minute, which is also it's all about vehicles. That looks quite nice up there. Look, <laughs> little Freddy the Fox Grumpy Guts is with us, and he's going to let us in on this one. Let's go for it. So we've got little Claire, our friend, with us again. I just say he's, he's very soft and fluffy, Freddy. I wish you could feel him. Yeah, he's very... I reckon you could go out wearing him and he'd warm your hands up. If it was, if it was cold outside. Is the cover artist. Mike McCain. Little Mike McCain. That looks really nice, that. And I can't wait for this bit. We've got the rising stars of 2011. Oh, this would be good. Look, a Q&A on poses. This is going to be quite fun. FX Pose A. I do love this bit. This is one of my favourite bits, this is. Seeing all the different, different types of artwork. That's nice. Reminds me a little bit of Destiny Blue, that. Oh, now that's nice. Look at that, look. What a beautiful bum shape. And the fabric. Oh, I love that. I like the way she's touching the tree as well. Who made this one? Who made this one? Yeah, what? I don't know how you say that. Yeah, I like this artist. I'm going to look into this artist, I think. Look at that. The, this, the ladies have got power. Sexy power. <laughs> Sexy power. He's sexy, isn't he? <laughs> all the, all the, there's too many adverts in these magazines at the minute. Well, not too many, but you feel like they're getting a little bit naughty with the with the adverts. Yay, my favourite bit, look. Davy Blight. I feel like this was a good balance here of um, nice and tidy and also a little bit... Yeah, I like the balance of fun things on the desk but also space to to work I like that little TV screen, little little screen as well oh, I like that that's quite cool don't see any traditional stuff though so they must be completely completely into their digital <laughs> he's funny Funny one, I love that cover. Yeah, this would be fun. This bit, that artist Q and A on poses. Oh, it's not just. Oh, I wanted it to be all about poses. What's the best way to paint over thumbnails? Be quite interesting. What's this here, look? We don't, we don't like things like that. <laughs> Vehicles. Sexy. I've seen that before. That, I think, I feel like I've seen that before, that, that image. Yes. Rising stars. We revealed the 10 artists who have excited and impressed us the most in our search for the best young art talent. What's good about this is, because this is like 10 years ago now, 
you can actually look into these artists. Well, not these, the ones that, and you'll be able to see if, if, what they're doing now. Because they probably have improved. This is the panel. The little judges. I can't wait for this. Yay, look. This is going to be cool. Yeah, this is going to be, I think this might be my favourite. I've got a feeling this is going to be my favourite bit of the, um, the magazine. Got a little face as well. She's very pretty, look. Very pretty, just like her little paintings. Anna. Anna Dittman. Cool. Toby. 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 I like that, Toby. <laughs> Toby. Oh, cool. Look at her, look. Oh, look, a little cat in there. It's like a massive... Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I like that. I feel like that's where we're going there if we're not. I don't know if I want to be all connected up to robots and stuff. I'd rather, if I was going to be connected to something, I'd rather be connected to nature rather than robots. Duncan Smith, I've heard of that before. I've seen this artist before. I like that one. McLean, McLean Kendry. <laughs> oh, cool, look at that. <laughs> I like that name. Oh, I love this. It's brilliant. Look at that. I like the way you've got little, little hearts in here almost. They look like little, little hearts. That's amazing, that is. Oh, little face again, look. Oh yeah, this is brilliant. Carla Ortiz. I've heard of Carla as well. Look, eating the animals. <laughs> Quite weird, isn't it? Eating the animals. Jace, Jace Wallace. Oh, now I love that. Look at her, look. Very pretty that one. This one's got a nice texture to it as well. It's almost like everything's sort of um, melting into each other. Quite cool this. Martin Nail. Oh no, look at this as well. Look. Sexy. Oh, brilliant this is. Oh, I enjoyed that. These are our little sketches. Eva Wilderman. I've heard of that as well. He, he reminds me a bit of uh, Mumra from Thundercats. <laughs> Mumra. Oh, I like him. Yeah, I like him. Like a little fish thing. Fish creature. <laughs> Look at his little face. Look. He looks quite... You want to sort of give him a hug. I like him. Yeah, I reckon somebody did an experiment on him and then turned him into that by accident. Side Mead. The Mechanics of Inspirational Design. Oh, this looks quite cool. Loads of different artists talking about inspirational. That's cool. Well, this is quite interesting because I. Oh, look. It's thingy. Star Trek, isn't it? Da -da 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 Sexy. I do like that. Oh, I like that as well, look. Illustrating the surreal. That's brilliant. That reminds me a bit of Wataboku. That's the sort of thing Wataboku does. you sort of got like these weird... It's almost as if it's made of glass and somebody's shattering it. 
That's the sort of thing What a Boku does. I did a quick look of one of these books. How brilliant he is. Yeah, I love that. Be creative in your warm-ups. That'd be a good one for a podcast, I think. A good article. <laughs> Little article. Customising your brushes. 3D Battle Mechs, look. Cool. I like, I like it when it's like that. It's very rough and... Look at this, oh, look at this look. Oh yeah, this is next. This is next week. It's going to be. This is the final one of 2011. It's going to be all about Eastern art. And here, look, look at the cover. How sexy is it? It's going to be cool. So that'll be next week's video. I can't wait for that. Look, this is what I want. I want humans connected with nature, so that we're all friends. It feels like you can't have. Humans and nature, and humans and robots. Or maybe you can. Maybe half the planet will be all filled with nature, and and then the other half can be feel, filled with robots. Well, I feel like the robots would want to take over. That's the thing. That's weird, isn't it? But I love that. It's like a sort of um. Hey, look, they've removed the little bloke. There's a the bloke there, and they they delete him. I wonder why they've done that. I wonder if it explains why they deleted him. I don't think we won't notice. Look, if you if you spot something's wrong in your image and hope that nobody will notice, then a war, word of warning, they will. It's tempting to turn a blind eye, especially if you're in a rush, but there's, there's rarely a good solution. To minimise work, it's best to deal with these problem areas early on in your workflow. I like that. In other words, pay attention to everything. Going into the reviews now. That's nice. Halo. Oh, cool. I love Formula One. It's weird. I, I love Formula One, but I'm not really into. Not really into vehicles and stuff. Animal logic. Nice. And that was this one. Now little Freddy. He's gonna. I bet. I bet he can't get the DVD out. <laughs> Look, he's gonna get. He's gonna get in the mood in a minute. This one's stuck inside. I think. I felt like it was. Let's go and have a look at this. Freddy the Fox goes to have a look with us. So this is a DVD for issue number 76. You've got your contacts as normal if you want that. You've got a little website if you want it. You've got your resources. Yay, Charles Bernard's back. He's going to be painting a little tree. Oh, cool. I'm excited for that. We've got the FX Pose A bit as well. She looks nice. And then we've got the little workshops. So let's start with this one here. Got a little, little video one. What I like about this one is the colours. I like the um, I like the feel of this one. So it's very nice this one. So we got what have we got here? Oh, cool! Look, we've got little um sketches. Oh, I like that. Look, that's brilliant. Thumbnails and sketches. You got your brushes. Cool, that's quite cool. They've got a little texture for the paper as well. Steps. Oh, this is brilliant here, look. How cool is that? Yeah, they've almost like painted it in with like watercolours or something. I tell you what, it would be worth getting those brushes, I think. Those, those brushes, I wonder why they took that man out. If they, I hope the video's got voices and they can explain why they took the little man out. Let's open it with that, see if it works. We've got an hour and 20 minutes video. 
don't think he's got any. He hasn't got any um, audio. I want to see him when he when they take the. Yeah, right at the very end, they take the man out. <laughs> we don't need the third figure, so off he goes into oblivion. <laughs> it's quite funny. What's the next one here? Look, creating a three D battle mech. Got your brushes again. Finals. You got a little video as well. Oh, we got quite a lot of videos here. Recap. That sounds good. Promising. Yeah, he's talking that. Oh, this would be good. I wonder if the other ones he's not talking. Yeah, he's talking on all of them. Nice. I like it. it's all broken down actually. Customising your brushes. Brushes. Final images. Let's go straight to the video. I like the videos I do. Oh, look at this look. How cool does that look? Very futuristic -y. Oh, that's nice that is already. Put the colour in. See, I'd like to hear them talking. Oh, oh dragons. We like dragons. Brushes again. Steps. And we've got a little video. Yeah, they've changed it. Yay, quick sketching. Cool. Oh, this is brilliant. Uh, well, and he's talking. Yay. That's all right. Oh, this is gonna be cool. And uh, trying, trying to play, play with. Ah, oh, brilliant! Oh, I'm gonna watch those. See, the voices make such a big difference. Oh, I love this one as well. This is the one I want to see. I want to see. Hey, we got these brushes as well. Cool. This is the one that's got like the what a big he's type of like that's the way the artist what a big he does he put all the shapes and that we've got the brushes how cool is that final images please 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 have voices please oh no voices maybe we can see how they do it though without I want to see how they do the things with all the weird shapes. Here we go. What are they doing? So they're just drawing in the shapes and then... Oh, look at that, look. How cool is that? Oh, I wish this one was talking. So you can you can learn it just by watching though. Definitely. Oh look at it, look how cool it is. I like that. I'm gonna have to watch that and painting a fleet of alien spaceships. Brushes, final images, Photoshop file, got more of the brushes in there. Steps. What's this one here? Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. Alt alternate covers. And then we've got a little video. Interesting. Well, that was brilliant, this one here. That's going to be cool. Into the FX pose a bit. She looks nice. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that might, there's an artist just like this. Does really big eyes and I like that. Little dwarf, little dwarf dude. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love that hat. 
Oh, I love that. Dean, oh, are we a beanie? Nice pose. Oh, look at these ones. <laughs> Get out there, fighting. Hey, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. I like that. Ah, oh, I love the colours on that. Sort of like um, retro 3D glasses, isn't it? <laughs> Quite nice, that. Little warriors. She is nice. Look at him, look. Bit creepy, isn't he? Imagine he's like a paedophile or something. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit. I but I don't like. I don't like him. I really, he feels very sort of um. Ew, makes me feel a bit cre yeah, creepy. Makes me feel very creepy. He does. I like the shape of that. We got into the resources. Does Studio Advanced Free? Does models. Charles Bernard will save him to the end. Because he's the best. CG wallpapers. What's this here, look? Oh, they, hey. They've done it wrong. These were in the last one. Unless they're putting them all together now. That's nice. Sorry if you can hear noises. It's people in the kitchen. Downstairs. I do like these um, things. Textures. We've got some glass, mechanical, road. I'm going to look at the metals. Yeah, I like that. Look. Look at these little metals. Interesting shapes, isn't it? I like, I like these sort of things. Rising stars. Oh, this is interesting. Brushes. Look, look, they've got loads of them. Oh, these are the things. Oh. Oh. I thought it was going to have all of the um, things. What's this? In this demonstration, Nate explains and shows the process by which a piece of concept art. This was in the last one. I'm sure this was on the last one. No, it wasn't the yes, one. Okay, so we're now. Oh, look at that there. How cool is that? For example, if you want to customise, you just right click it and edit material. I wonder, what it's like. I wonder if that's fun to and create a little uh, character like that. Once the render are done, you can. What have we got here? Imagine the newsletter, work, the wallpaper, and the artist QA. <laughs> look at him there. Let's go to the child painting a tree. I can't wait for this. My favourite bloke drawing my favourite thing, a tree. A little one, ten minutes. Oh, he's in his nuclear boat to get I think he's get about to blow, you know. <laughs> yeah. He's turning into a robot look. Charles Bernard is about to blow. So what do now just add that colour? Right over. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I see what he's gonna do. He's gonna. I bet. Oh, cool. Oh, what a beautiful little tree. Do you know what? I think it would be good to um, copy that in real time. I wonder what brushes he's using. Then it looks smoothly selected. A large leaves on the tree. Then you can see how irregular that brush shape looks. So that's the kind of brush you need to select. Now let me get this hmm. out of the way. I like that. And that was where, that was the DVD. So that was issue number. Oh, look at it. little feet. Look, <laughs> put his feet up like that. I like it when he does that. Looks like he's sitting on the thing. Look. So that was issue number seventy-six of the Imagine FX magazine. Hope you enjoyed it. What's weird is I wasn't I wasn't very excited for this one. Because I thought it was going to be all too much about the vehicles, but I really enjoyed that one. And I can't wait for the next one. 
look what we've got next week this one this is the final one of 2011 and oh i can't wait for this so that'll be next week i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you later for another one Yeah, we're going to do an office for this one.